Hey, what's going on? It's Jason Lucchese and welcome to today's video. I wanted to just run something uh, past you guys here really quick that I think is exceptional when you are doing like a driving for dollars campaign. This is two things that I want to give you that will help see uh, the results that you want within your business and you'll get success uh, in a much faster way. And with me is Mr. Michael Bredhauer with his, uh, what do you call that setup over there? Your, your do wiki? The command center. The command center. So this is uh, Michael's command center and he's, uh, you know, hitting the phones. We've got people calling in. But what I want to talk about is uh, when you are doing like a driving for dollars thing, and I don't like recommend or encourage you do that all the time, uh, unless you have a very specialized niched list. Now, this morning I was uh, driving after my uh, after I dropped the kids off at school, and one of the big things that I always notice, if you want to find out which properties are vacant, is today on Monday was garbage day. So, Mike, what what do people normally put out out, out on the street when it's garbage day? Uh, trash. They're trash cans. <laughs> so. The, the folks that I see when I'm driving these neighborhoods, the ones that don't have the trash cans out by the curb, that's also a, a sign, that's an indication that uh, the house is vacant. The other thing that you could do when you're driving by those houses and you see maybe on a trash day that there are no cans over there, uh, you could see if uh, from your car, you could see if, uh, look through, Sometimes you could look through maybe like a, a front window or something and see if you could see through to the back. Normally, that's a good indication that the person uh, is definitely vacant, especially if there's no furniture uh, in the house, because uh, that, that's going to be a key indication of that individual not being there. Now, another thing that you can do, make sure you get that uh, address and the, the thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is get that skip traced immediately. One of the best places that Mike and I use, uh, if we just need to get a name and number in a hurry, is fastpeoplesearch.com. You, you type in uh, the address and it'll pull up the information uh, for you, uh, pull up uh, the phone number of that individual. Uh, you might, if you need to do something a little bit more extensive, maybe something paid, uh, TLO, is a really good one, but it can be a little pricey. If you are on like a, a budget standpoint, I would recommend fastpeoplesearch.com. Mike, how would you say fastpeoplesearch.com is as far as like accuracy and stuff? 75% accurate. Most of the information's there. Some of it's just kind of out of order, but it's all kind of there, yeah. Yeah, because you, you get their phone number, uh, you get their email address. Um, also, you get... Uh, family members information, uh, you get a lot of information on there. So those two things I would recommend. So you could see if they've, uh, especially if it's garbage day, you could see if uh, the trash has uh, been put out on the curb. Uh, that's a good indication if they do not have those out there that uh, that property could potentially be vacant. Uh, and also, you could see through from your car, from from the street. Don't just be going up to random houses and uh, poking poking through and seeing if you can see if uh, there's no furniture in the house. Probably wouldn't be a good thing. Uh, you might get uh, the police called on you, so I, I would highly encourage you not to do that. Uh, don't do anything that would uh, jeopardize you and put you into jail because that won't uh, be something uh, that will help you get the results you want uh, with your real estate investing business. The other thing that I would recommend that you have is um, uh, just put together a piece of paper with information on it about that you're looking to buy houses. Um, I could give you a, a really good example. Uh, right below, there's going to be a link included in this video that you could have um, something already set up. It looks like it's handwritten. It's got all of your information on it. You only need to do this once, okay? You don't need to be doing it every single time. But what you could do is you could get a padded envelope and uh, get a, a nice, uh, clear uh, mailing label and put their address and everything down on there. 
Now, you're not actually gonna be mailing this, just go uh, for people that you feel like, hey, this house looks like it's run down, the roof needs to be repaired, um, it looks like maybe the lawn is not in the best of shape. Maybe the siding is all jacked up. You can see like maybe there's there's windows uh, that don't look great. This is for that type of property. So I don't want to get you confused on the, the ones that don't have the trash cans out by the curb. This is another strategy that you can use. So you're getting three strategies in this uh, video uh, for driving for dollars. You can have those padded envelopes around and they're super inexpensive. Mike, I think, you know, you know those the padded envelopes that you know the bubble wrapped ones they're those are only like what 12 15 cents each they're, those are those yeah. are pretty inexpensive when you buy them in bulk they're pretty cheap yeah i think you could spend like five ten bucks on like uh like a little stack of uh 20 uh probably you could just go to like staples or office max and what you do is you stick your letter in there uh seal it and then just put it in the the front door uh normally there's a storm door and then the front door Put it in there, and they're going to be able to see it. Uh, you could get different colors of these padded envelopes too. I would recommend getting something that's going to stand out. So if you can get red, uh, great. Uh, black is a good one, especially if the front door isn't black. Uh, if the front door is maybe like most people have like a reddish color or a bluish color, so black will will definitely mesh in pretty well there. Uh, but get different colors of these envelopes. Don't just get the regular, uh, like the the normal one I believe is like a, a light brownish color, right, Mike? For... Like those padded envelopes? Yeah, like a tannish. Yeah, it's like a tan color. So I, I you could get the tan colored ones too. Those work, um, but you're obviously not gonna be mailing, so don't put it in the, the mailbox. That's a, a big no-no. I'm not telling you to do that. Just put it in between the, the storm door and uh, the, the front door and you'll be good to go. That'll be a really great way uh, to, to get people to open that and then call you uh, from seeing that because not everybody else is doing that. Not a lot of people are going out there and doing leave behinds on property. So while you're out there, instead of, I, I know there's a good app uh, and we're friends with the, the guy that made uh, Deal Machine. It is a, it is a, a good app, uh, but the thing is you have to you know use your phone, uh, you have to point it at the house and it'll give you all the data that you need. Now that is good. Now what I would recommend if you want to get results like right then and there while you're out, use the fastpeoplesearch.com. Make sure you have like an iPad or a Surface, something that you could operate in the, the car with because that's going to help you out quite a bit. You could look all that information up there. You could also put your envelopes at the people's houses right then and there too so you don't have to wait for them to call you uh, and have a, a mailing go out. So you obviously would have to wait a little bit, but normally you'll get a call back that same day uh, from putting the padded envelope there. That That's how powerful that marketing is. And the, the key there is making sure you have a different color for all that stuff too. But Mike, with everything that I discussed here, I know you're, you're busy over there at the command center. Is there anything else that you would add? Uh, I'm sorry. I actually was texting back and forth with a few people. Um, for what again? Uh, for doing the, di uh, for driving for dollars. You know, honestly, I, I like to just post up on Craigslist and ask somebody and find somebody to do it because I don't really like driving oh, that, around a lot. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, that's a good key. That's for, for, for me preferred. I don't like driving around and getting out. I like... You can see clearly I like working from the home office. I like being comfortable, so... He does. Look, he's, uh, <laughs> he's got the 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 track pants and the track jacket so he is adidas out today no but seriously i don't like driving around so i just would put a post on craigslist and ask somebody if they'd be interested in taking over something like that because yep. i prefer yep. being on the phone and taking calls even if they yep. just go and leave a post-it note for me behind the doors with the number or say call me so they don't even have to have any interaction with the person it's really easy for them to stick that note on the door uh, and then I'll get the call and I can take it over from there. Yep. You know, the, the only thing I would say is get some proof that they're actually doing the work. Maybe have them take a picture. Yeah, that's a good one. And uh, send it to you. Say, yep, yeah, you know, I'll pay you uh, 20 bucks to go do all of them. Or if you take a picture and send me a picture of each one, I'll pay you 50 bucks. Yeah. And they'll, they'll opt for the 50 bucks. They'll take a picture of each one and send it to you. So uh, it's verification of the work actually getting done. And you didn't have to leave your office. 
and you reached out to a lead that may or may not be there because one of the things we do with our list is we append them yep. to uh, USPS, USPS vacancy list. So those types of properties, we can, we can pull them off our list and have that person go out and tag the neighbor's doors with that same post-it note, say, hey, I had a question about your neighbor, call me. Uh, and then see if I can get some information from them about, hey, do you know who I would reach out to, how I would get a hold of this person. You know, I know the house is kind of falling apart. You know, I know it's not something pretty to look at. We're looking to, you know, make it up nice and we just don't know how to reach the person. So. No, that's great. That's, that's Yeah, that's all I have. Awesome. No, that was uh, that was really good stuff uh, from the myth uh, himself. Uh, <laughs> we haven't had Mike in uh, many YouTube videos here recently. Uh, holidays have been kind of nutso and chaotic for, for us. He's been traveling. Uh, but one last thing that I would leave with is you're probably wondering how much would you pay the, the person from Craigslist per house? Probably a dollar to a dollar fifty uh, per house. Uh, that, that's typically about it. And it can be something uh, where somebody would like to do that for you consistently. And if the, as long as they're going to be out there, they could probably be hanging up some bandit signs for you too. If you've got some slick marketing, which we could talk bandit signs in another video, uh, but that is still a powerful way uh, to get people to call you um, as long as you're doing it the right way. Because it, it really, really depends on you doing uh, all of this marketing uh, really is all on you doing it the right way and not what everybody else is doing. But other than that, hopefully you enjoyed this. I originally just had two uh, things that I want to talk to you about, but you got three, four. So Mike added the, the Craigslist one in there. So you got four items uh, to talk about, and we are just over a uh, little over 11 minutes now, approaching 12 minutes. So I don't want to take up too much more of your time. Go out there, take action. If you need anything, hit us up and we will see you uh, on the next video. Take care. Bye.